Next up, we have our second speech given by Rich McDonough. And first, uh, Brendan O'Brien will give his speech objectives. And Brendan, you can do that yeah, on so, your seat. Um, Rich just asked me something. It was, is, this is going to be like a toast speech, or it's, a, it's actually a wedding speech, but it's the same thing. Um, he has to deliver a talk that's relevant, well delivered to the audience, and the audience is a br bride and groom, parents and guests, and so it's a, a toast speech is supposed to be sort of a brief speech of, of praise and a very mixture of light heart and seriousness, and I'm going at the I, I'm going to try to stop my comments at about two minutes so that to allow the audience to give feedback for about a minute or so uh, at the conclusion of the evaluation. The same Okay. And Rich had this to say about creative self-expression. I just took up a new sport, golf. Rich. <laughs> I'd like to begin with a little Irish whip that my mother gave me when I first told her I was in love and that I wanted to get married. To which she said, remember Richard, love is blind, but marriage, ah, that's an eye opener for you. <laughs> On a more serious note, every little girl dreams one day of marrying their Prince Charming. And just like that little girl, every parent dreams of the day that they live to see their child get married, in this case, my daughter. And so I'd just like to share with you some thoughts, uh, some memories that I have of her growing up as a daughter. You know, it began, and some of the people in the room were there at the time with her baptism in the basement of a small church in Woburn. And from there, it was dropping her off to her first day at kindergarten and preschool and, and first grade. And setting up play dates with friends, soccer games, weeks on the Cape in the summer. Lots of good memories. But one of the qualities that stood out to me as I saw her grow up was her loyalty to her friends and tried to never take sides and if, woe to you if you tried to criticize one of her friends. So, Brian, that's one, in addition to her unconditional love to you as her husband, I think loyalty is a great gift that she brings to the marriage. And also, one of the things I've come to know as I've come to know you is that you have a great sense of respect and you showed that to me by asking for my daughter's hand in marriage, and I appreciate that. And also I've noticed that, you know, that you served in the military, so we have that common bond, so you've earned my respect as well. I began talking about my mother, and, and I'd kind of like to pass on some sage advice that I learned from her as well. And that was that when, when, um, when I asked her one time, Ma, for all you've done for me, what can I do for you? And she clasped my hands and she said, all I want for you is to be happy. And so I'd like to say to Sarah and Brian, that's what your parents, me and Brian's parents wish for you is to be happy. And that's what everybody in this room wishes for you to be, be is happy today, tomorrow, and every day of your lives. Thank you, Rich. Next, we have the most anticipated portion of our meeting with table topics. Uh, I, I like to call up Leslie to lead the table topics, and Leslie had this to say about creative self-expression. 